Welcome back ACPS staff. In this second video on Google Earth, we're going to take a little bit of a step away from Google Earth, but we're going to focus on a tool that is made entirely for Google Earth. Now at the end of my last video, I had mentioned that you can create projects if you use this panel over here on the left hand side with your new button and where it shows you existing projects there. But Google also has an entire collection of projects that have been created for you, and that's found in the Voyager tool. So if I switch to my next tab, we have Google Earth Voyager, which gives you professionally curated tours of lots of places on Earth. You can always find the Voyager tool by going to earth.google.com slash Voyager. And right here at the top of the screen, it tells me we have an option to take guided tours around the globe with some of the world's leading storytellers, scientists, and nonprofits. You can explore stories and maps about sustainability, the environment, and cultural preservation. And as I start to scroll down on the screen, you'll see we have lots of different types of stories. There's one here on um, sea level rise and the fate of coastal cities, potentially in the future with climate change. On the right hand side, we've got the world's oceans. We have things like indigenous languages, warming planet, changing forests mapping London's air pollutions. A lot of these, again, have something to do with um, the environment and sustainability here on Earth, but we'll also find time lapse where it will show you uh, something from back in like say the mid 1980s and then scroll forward so that we can see how the planet has changed over the last few decades in it for example this one's on the warming planet so we'll see the reduction in polar ice um, around the planet due to uh, climate change. I'm going to start with one that I know that is perfect for um, our elementary curriculum, and that is a one called This is School. If you scroll just underneath of any of these um, specific Voyagers, you'll see an option to launch it and open it in Google Earth. So I've selected on that. I'm going to go ahead and close these additional tabs just so that I can dedicate a little bit more of my computer to that Voyager story that is opening for me. So again, I chose one that is called This is School. And my my little blurb underneath about it tells me that it's from London to the Himalayas explore classrooms around the world in street view imagery so we're going to be right down inside of these schools this is a great option for you to talk about what school looks like around the world in different cultures when exploring this unit with your students in class to enter into this Voyager we click on start exploring and they're going to fly us to the first location in this story and open an information card here on the right hand side of our screen. So here we are in a place in India and out of respect for them I am not going to try and pronounce all of that but we've got some text-based information about where we are and what this type of school is and in addition we have a picture up here at the top that shows you uh, what the students would look like attending this school, the teacher at the front, what the classroom looks like and then here in the center we're in in a photosphere. If you remember in our last um, video we talked about the photospheres. This is a 360 image of this classroom so we can click and we can scroll and we can look around at what they have displayed on the walls here is student artwork. We can see we have a chalkboard here with um, some beautiful artwork and what looks like writing. Here we have more samples of student artwork. We can see the doorway to exit out of the classroom and we can see that in this particular classroom the students are seated on the floor on a carpet and we can see the teacher standing to one side. Now again we have some arrows that allow us to navigate so if we want to exit outside of the classroom and see what's immediately outside we can see what the outside of their school building looks like entrances into the classroom. We have what appears to be some students taking a break out here. So street view imagery that allows you to get right down to the point of the action here. 
Let's turn our attention to the bottom right hand corner of our screen. We can see that this is image 2 out of 10. So when we're done exploring this particular classroom and we want to move on, we're going to click that arrow to the right and we're going to be flown from the classroom in India where we were exploring to our next location which is here in Nepal. Once again, the information card displayed on the right hand side has changed. We're now seeing a picture of what I assume is the outside of the school building and some text to tell us about this particular school in the Himalayan vi village. Once again, in the center of our screen, we've got Street View Imagery 360 where we can click and we can turn and look around. We can see this giant courtyard right here completely surrounded by mountains and then inside we can see what the classroom looks like with just a couple of small desks, benches, and then we have arrows once again that allow us to change our view. If we want to get further inside of the classroom and look at some of the artwork and student projects hanging on the walls, or if we want to exit out of the classroom out into that courtyard and look a little bit more around at what the outside of the school looks like, we can do that as well. Once again, you can click your arrow to move on. And as we saw, there are a total of 10 locations in this particular Voyager story that take us all around the world. So here we are at a school in Indonesia. We can see the students lined up outside in a courtyard, someone presenting here. And if we continue on, now we go to a school in Mexico where we can see students in a classroom. Great opportunity to talk about how these classrooms look the same as ours, but also how they're different. So getting into some serious comparisons with um, what school looks like around the world. Here we have one in Japan. Let's talk about the technology that we're seeing here in this classroom. Here we come to a second school here in Mexico. We're outside on the courtyard. Uh, looks like students are playing a variety of different sports. Maybe this is recess or maybe this is a more like a PE class. Here we come to a school that might look a little bit more like what our students are used to. We're in the United States. We're in the state of Georgia and clearly looking at an elementary classroom. While we're here on this view, I want to point out a couple of things that you can do while you are working in uh, this particular Voyager story. First, you can close the information card on the right hand side of your screen at any time if you want to dedicate more of your workspace to um, to the specific location that you are visiting. You can also utilize all of the tools inside of Google Earth. For example, that arrow in the upper left hand corner will exit us out of this photosphere. So we are here in Georgia in the United States looking down at a school, but now that we've exited out of that photosphere, we're looking at aerial imagery of this particular school. We could click on Pegman and we could see options to drop down to a road near the school or maybe if there were photospheres that would allow us to see additional places in the athletic fields or inside of the building. We can explore what is around the school. I'm going to click off of Pegman so we can see um, how densely populated the area is here outside and around the school. So you don't have to be locked into the Voyager story. You can utilize all of the tools that are available to you in Google Earth when you are exploring in one of those stories to exit out of it and look in more detail at the area around where you were exploring. When you're done exploring the area around the outside of the Voyager story, you can always click this resume button down here in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and it will take you right back to where you were in your Voyager story. We can see our information card has opened up over here on the right hand side telling us about this school in Georgia. We now have those navigation tools to move forward or backwards in our story to continue exploring different schools from around the world or go back to a previous one, maybe exit out of that street view imagery and take a better look at what is around the outside of those schools and the environment that those kids live in when they are attending school.
Once you've explored a Voyager story and you decide that you're ready to give it to your students, if you go back to the page that opened when you first clicked on the link from Voyager, remember when we landed here and we had the uh, button here to begin exploring this particular Voyager story? If you copy the web address that displays uh, here at the top, you can easily drop that into your Brightspace course, an assignment, or an HTML document to give the students the resources that they need for today's lesson. So this has been a quick introduction to the different Voyager tools. Remember, you can access them by going to earth.google.com slash Voyager. Any one of them opens here inside of Google Earth so that you can explore a curated collection of places on Earth or explore some of that time-lapse imagery so that you can see how Earth has changed over the last several decades. I'll see you back in our next video on creating a Voyager story on your own utilizing the projects tool.